Salute Kings. Be sure to support the merch. And as always, thanks for all the love and the support. Men do what they want. Boys do what they can. Salute Kings. Three signs you are dealing with a low vibrational woman, AKA a hoe, a whore, a slut. Number one, she engages in HOE activities. This can be having friends who have reputations of being promiscuous. She has friends that has reputations of doing promiscuous things like going to college parties and hooking up and sleeping around, right? And she hangs out with these people. She engages with these people. These are her best friends. Right? Birds of a feather flock together. She hang around all hoes, but you expect her to be the angel. You think she's just the angel out the group who's trying to give all her whore friends guidance. You're naive. You think that she is misunderstood. She has sympathy for them because she wants better for them because this is the way she lives. She's a saint. I hear men all the time. Oh, my girl's not like that. She's, she's different. Meanwhile, her friends go to parties and sleep with multiple guys. Her friends get trains ran on them. Her friends, you know, give guys heads, give guys head in the parking lot. Real story. Oh, but she's not like that. She just like hanging around people like that, but she's not like that. No, she's like that. She's just in the closet with hers. And you're naive. Number two, showing her most prized possession off on social media. Also, showing her most prized possession off in real life. See, people say things like, it's nothing wrong with a woman wearing shorts or booty shorts where her ass cheeks is hanging out, you know. Women should have the right to wear what they want. Just because she dressed like this doesn't make her this way. But you have to look at intentions behind people's actions. Why do she dress like this? She dressed like this because she wants attention. She wants validation. She wants approval. And I'm going to tell you from my life experiences. The women who needs these things, who craves these things from the public... Because ultimately, a woman will always crave these things. You have to realize that. Like, a woman is always going to crave attention. She's always going to crave validation. It's just about who she craves it from. So when a woman craves this from the public, this woman is sharing her most prized possession to the public. When I was growing up, you know, little girls were taught your body was your temple. So when she is so quick and anxious to expose her temple on a on a um, just imagery level, right? This is the same type of woman that will be willing to expose her temple on a physical level. So let me give you an example. A woman who's OK with letting her ass hang out a dress or wearing a dress where she constantly, you know, I've been places even like definitely here in L.A., you fucking go to a grocery store or go somewhere and it's a woman who's wearing a fucking short ass sh skirt or short ass dress where she constantly has to pull, pull it down because her ass cheeks are hanging out. You think she's not aware that that dress was too small for her before she put it on? Hell, that dress didn't shrink. She bought it that way, okay? You think she wasn't aware before she left the house? You don't think she looked in the mirror 30 fucking times? Before she left the house to make sure her ass looked good in that dress. But now she's out in the public. She feels the need to constantly have to pull this dress down because her ass is hanging out. And you let these same type of individuals make you believe that, oh, it's not about the attention. It's not about being a whore. I do this for me.
So you go to a public setting to be seen for you. Because ultimately, you don't have to wear that. You wear that for attention. No different than us who buy new shoes and put the new shoes on and go to a certain area because you want those shoes to be seen. It's a representation. How we dress, how we carry ourselves, what we drive, how we think, the places we engage in, the, place, the people we deal with is a reputation of us. A representation of us. So when women show their cleavage off, when women show their ass off, it's because they want attention. They want attention from specific type of guys, whether it's just the betas, just to get validation, or whether it's the alpha, so they can really hook up and sleep with them. It's all the same outcome. Because what you have to realize is, it's something that she lacks. She lacks that approval that she always, and I'm gonna be real with you. I'm sorry to say it, but most women I have experienced that has this, I need to show my body off on Instagram, on social media, I need to show my body off in real life. They are insecure women. I haven't really seen many real confident women needing to do that. The most confident, I'm just telling you my life experience. Yours could be different, but my life experience, the most confident women I have honestly on everything I love met in my life, they was the opposite. It was like in my lower vibrational days, I would be the one like, God damn girl, show, show some damn cleavage. Like, God damn, let me see a little ass, you know? I would be that one like craving it because they didn't feel the need to do that. Honestly, they knew the value of their body. And they didn't want anybody to see that. Like, we live in a day and age, now look, y'all done got me fired up. We live in a day and age where it's normal. Let this sink in. It's normal for wives and girlfriends to show the world what you should only be seeing. What should only be for the boyfriend and the husband eyes. Like, let that sink in. Like, that be on my mind so much now. Like, definitely with these celebrities, it's like... I see celebrities wearing fucking shirts, see-through shirts, titties showing. I'm talking about she might well not be wearing a shirt at all. Titties showing. Ass hang. Like, and these be married celebrities. And I'm not just talking about like the Cardi B's and Nicki Minaj's. I'm not just talking about black celebrities. I'm talking about white celebrities. Like, it's to the point now where it's like, when I was coming up, y'all, y'all gotta understand. When I was coming up, I remember... Just, I'm gonna get into some divacy things, right? I remember as a young boy, it used to like be an urge or a craving to see another man's girl. I'm sorry because you didn't see it. It was like sacred. Like you didn't see another man's girl titties and all this, unless you might have slipped up and walked in a bathroom or something while she was getting dressed, but you didn't see it. So, you know, low key, you crazed it. You know, you crazed that shit. Like, damn, I wonder how she looked naked. I'm gonna be real. Like, that's just what you crave. But now it's like, I be tripping out just as a grown man now because it's like, I sit back and I watch how easy it is to see other men's women naked. Like, let that, this, this oh my God. <laughs> y'all, y'all don't understand. Like, I have like spiritual feelings when, I, when I'm speaking so, so passionate and so real in certain videos. I just, I get this feeling that is like, man, this is just one of my realest videos. And I'm having that feeling in this video because it's like, this is the thoughts I have when I'm by myself. Like, like I tell y'all, I'm big on YouTubers. I like watching YouTube videos. I like watching YouTube couples. And sometimes I just think about how I was raised and what I grew up on. And I, tr I trip off at the fact that I could watch a YouTube couple and this man, he'll do a clothing haul with his girl, a, a, a thong try on clothing haul, or booty shorts, or a lingerie try on clothing haul. And I'm sitting here watching a video of a man and his girl intimate moment of him rating her lingerie. And I feel like I'm in the room. And I'm not saying that on no like relapse or uh, watch pornography type shit. I'm just saying it from the sense like, how did we get to this place in life where it's just normal to see another man's woman at her at her barest, right? At her most privatest moment. Like women will do lingerie try-ons, they would do fucking thong try-ons, women will twerk, do sexual things, all while having a husband, having a boyfriend, and the husband and boyfriend condone this. 
If you've enjoyed that video, show Alpha Sincere some love and hit that subscribe button. Also be sure to follow on Instagram at Mr. Female Nature.